this video, I'm going to share with you three fall decor DIY projects and most of the items I use are from Dollar Tree. So if you want to see how I made these, keep on watching! Hey friends, welcome back! If you are new, my name is Eileen. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started! For this DIY, you need three cut scratch boards and this gather together sign from Dollar Tree. First, I connected the three boards with the hot glue and my glue gun doesn't work very well that time. It doesn't give me the right amount of glue but it's okay because I will put some sticks around it. You can use the paint stick from Home Depot. I don't have enough so I use the sticks that I have on hand. I just cut it into size and then I painted it using my ink by Waverly and I also use the wet wipes to paint it. It saves, it saves your paintbrush and it works really good. While the paint is drying, I will be working on the sign. This is also from Dollar Tree. I painted it using the Ivory Waverly Chalk Paint and also I painted the Cornucopia using the Antiquing Wax by Waverly. For the cornucopia, I grabbed some small pumpkins together with the small pine cones and some fall picks from Dollar Tree. I laid it out on the cornucopia until I'm happy with how it looks. I also decided to cut the pumpkin in half and some of the pumpkins are breaking into small pieces. It's okay, you can still use them and you can arrange it however you want. how it looks I really love how it turned out and now I will be attaching the sticks that we painted earlier using hot glue you can also use e6000 to make it more stronger but hot glue works great for this project Then I used the sharpie to make a border on the cornucopia to pop up more on the board. Then you're done with this DIY. So what do you think of this project? I hope you like it. Also, this video, it's a collab called The Fab Five, and it's hosted by Trish and Kay from Crafting Cousins. And I was challenged to use Candle Holder by Brandy from Making It My Own, and I challenged Lisa from Lisa and Company. Check out to see her video to see what I challenge her. And for the exciting part, there will be two winners of $50 gift card, Amazon gift card. And all you need to do is to watch the video and leave a comment below. I hope you all entered. So good luck! For this DIY, you need this wooden pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I just stained it with the wet wipes and the antiquing wax by Waverly. Once the paint is dry, I grab a small piece of candle that I'm not using and I will be applying on the side of the pumpkin like this. I really like this technique to distress the board and I use it on my previous project too and it was a nice technique. Then I draw more 
two curvy lines i just followed the bottom part of the pumpkin i hope that makes sense and then i just wipe off the excess candle from the board and i will be painting the board using the ivory by waverly and oh i also tape the stem of the pumpkin I let the paint dry and I grab a hard gift card and scrape where we put or we applied the candle earlier like this. I really love this distressing technique. It's so easy and it's so satisfying to peel off the paint. I also try to use the handle of the foam brush and it works really good and you have more control on how you scrape the paint and it looks like this after that I have this paper stencil from Joann's I got it last year it's a paper stencil so I will put Mod Podge on it so that it's less bleeding and I only apply just a little bit of Mod Podge I let it dry for one minute and then I apply my paint. I use the ink by Waverly and I use the makeup foam brush. I just dab the paint like this then let it dry and tada here is how it looks <laughs> there's still bleeding so i just clean it up and i also connected the line so that it doesn't look like you stenciled it if you don't have the stencil you can use the uh, stickers from dollar tree or if you have a cricut machine you can use that too this is optional i distress the board and the lettering so that it doesn't look flat and this add more dimension on our on our board so i just use the dry brushing technique i just dab off the excess paint on the paper towel and paint it on the board and to add more details i made a simple bow and i grabbed some of my leftover picks and some maple and i tied it using the raffia and I will also add more raffia and just hot glue that on the board. I also added twine at the back so that I can hang it. Then, ta da! This is how it looks. I really love how rustic it looks like. So, what do you think of this project? For the next DIY, you need this black basket from Dollar Tree and candle holder and scrapbook paper. Remember, I was challenged to use the candle holder, so let's do that. And first thing, I trace the back side of the basket and cut it. You also need stickers from Dollar Tree. I put the Farm Fresh pumpkin, I lay it out, and then once I'm sure, I just press it down like this. Then I use a small amount of Mod Podge to secure the letterings. set this aside and we will be working on the candle holder and the basket i don't know if this is a crazy idea but i will be connecting it using the super glue gel and a little bit of hot glue i let it dry overnight and let's see how it works
and I use this clump to bind it together and let it dry overnight and the next morning <laughs> I tried to remove the clump and it works <laughs> it's very sturdy it doesn't move I am so happy <laughs> and then I went out to spray painted it with the Rustoleum multicolor that I've got from Amazon I will put the link on the description box below and and I added cardboard for the farm fresh pumpkin so that it's more sturdy and I distressed the side using the truffle by Waverly like this and it looks like this I will be attaching it using hot glue on the basket Then I saw these pics from Dollar Tree. It has pumpkins and some pine cones. I will be changing the stems of the pumpkin using the sticks that I got from outside. And I just poke it on the pumpkin like this and I ar arrange it on the basket. You can hot glue that on the basket. I did not hot glue it because I know that I'm going to reuse this pumpkin again on my next projects. And I also added more or Spanish moss to add more texture. And voila, you're done with this DIY. It's very easy and simple, but I really love how it turned out. And I hope you like it too. So let me know on the comment below what do you think of this project and tell me what's your favorite. And also don't forget to visit the playlist. So that's it guys. See you on my next DIY. Bye-bye. Take care and God bless you all. Oh, and this was the winner on my last giveaway. I just picked random winner and Crafty Pug Mom was the winner. So congratulations and she already claimed her prize. Yeah, so bye-bye guys!